Is the turbulence facing the offshore wind industry finally over? The Biden administration is pushing to put these types of projects back on course. We've told you before about the struggles facing construction, especially in 2023. Projects delayed, millions of dollars in canceled contracts, utility providers pushing for rate increases. But this year, many experts are predicting a turnaround. To kickstart more offshore wind development, the Interior Department is announcing two potential lease auctions off the coast of Oregon and in the Gulf of Maine. The lease area would cover over a million acres of ocean, with the combined potential to power over six million homes on clean energy. With this proposal, the federal government also revealed updated regulations surrounding the leasing process. They aim to increase certainty and lower costs associated with offshore wind projects to avoid developments being abandoned in the future. This will be the first offshore lease offering in the Gulf of Maine. It comes months after a similar lease proposal flopped in the Gulf of Mexico, the Biden administration selling just one of three zones it auctioned off. Ultimately, the region will produce less than half the energy officials hope for. As 2024 rolls around, there's a major election looming that could also alter the course of offshore development. For a better understanding of the struggles the industry faced in 2023, or why experts believe it will rebound in 2024, download our Straight Arrow News app and look for stories from me, Jack Almer.